Hi, Bhaskar Napte this side from the Pharma Growth Hub and today we are going to talk about few of the very important interview questions and today's topic for discussion is the linearity study. So now this is the part two. In part one we discussed about the three very important questions related to the linearity study and in part two we are going to talk about three more important questions. And uh, let us begin with the question number one. So for which analytical procedure linearity is not performed? According to the ICH, maybe USP or maybe the NVISA. Now, what regulators talk about when it comes to the linearity of different test procedures? So there are test procedures for which linearity study is not performed and here is the answer so linearity is not performed for qualitative analytical test procedures and very specifically identification test and limit test the linearity is not performed now when we give the answer to the interviewer that okay for qualitative procedures like identification and limit test linearity is not performed. The obvious question could be, the obvious next question could be, please tell me why linearity is not possible for qualitative procedures like identification test or the limit test for an impurity. So to answer this question, you need to understand what are the requirements to establish linearity? And there are two important requirements. The first one is to have the different concentration solutions for an analyte. And the second one is the measurable response to those different concentration analyte solutions. So what is possible? You may prepare a different concentration of an analyte solution 10 ppm 20 30 40 50 ppm because you have the analyte impurity or drug substance in your hand and it is very easy for you to make the solutions out of them now your test procedure is for let us say limit test for an impurity by tlc method and you are going to draw you are going to put a drop of uh, 10 ppm impurity A solution onto a TLC plate. I'm going to run the TLC plate to identify what is the size of that particular spot. On the another plate you are going to run the test solution and trying to understand at the same time interval right what is the size of the plot size of the spot. Now this spot belongs to the same impurity A. Your specification or acceptance criteria is the spot of the impurity A in taste solution must be less than the size as that of the spot observed into a standard TLC run. Now here you only talk about comparison of the, the size of the spot. You are not sure to measure the intensity of the spot in terms of its absorbance value or maybe in terms of the response. So in this situation just by understanding the spot size of different concentration how you are going to make the response it is not possible and that is the response for your answer this question that it is not possible to define the response at given concentration for qualitative taste. Qualitative test only talks about the comparison, whether the amount of impurity A present in the sample is less than the limit level of let us say 10 ppm. It cannot quantify whether the impurity in test solution is 5 ppm or 9 ppm. Why quantification is not possible? Because there is no measurable response available out of running the TLC plate. And as there is no measurable response available, you are having just concentration is not going to suffice the requirement because you also need to have the measurable response to draw a linearity line. 
across x axis you are going to draw your concentration and across y axis you are going to draw the response so there is no availability of the response and how come you are going to draw a linearity and because of that linearity test is not possible for the qualitative test procedures if you look at the ICH guideline you will find that the linearity is not required for the identification test as well as the limit test the third important question is how to perform linearity for internal standard method so you are adding the internal standard because of certain reasons your method is not reproducible there is injection to injection variation and to minimize those variations you are taking support of internal standard for example you are quantifying the content of methanol in your drug substance and you are taking ethanol as an internal standard and running the gas chromatography systems to understand their peak ratio so whenever internal standard comes you are bound to measure the peak ratio of your analyte divided by the internal standard this is very common take a method used whenever the internal standard is used during the analytical procedure now the question here is methanol is my analyte and ethanol is not my analyte so, so do i need to only perform the linearity for methanol that is my interested analyte now that is the question right understand that what are the requirements of an internal standard assume that if your internal standard do not give the linear response then probably you may not be able to accurately get the response for the internal standard in case if there is a little variation of the content of internal standard during its preparation so to understand that the response of internal standard at a different concentration level is not the limiting factor and it is it is proportionately increasing by increase in the concentration so for that reason the linearity for internal standard is also needs to be performed in like along with the linearity of your interested analyte so the concentration of internal standard can be selected as like the concentration of your analyte maybe if you are drawing the linearity for analyte from 50 to 150% then you can also draw the linearity for internal standard from 50 to 150% at five different concentration levels i think it is very important point to note here that in case of such internal standard procedures you must draw the linearity for analyte and internal standard separately and the limit for the analyte and internal standard should be one and the same for example if the correlation coefficient for analyte should not be less than 0.99 this is your limit for the analyte so the same limit must also be applicable for the internal standard that is correlation coefficient for internal standard should not be less than 0.99 I hope you must have understood now how to respond to these three very important questions during the interview. So I will also meet you in part three, where we are going to talk about five important questions related to the linearity. Thank you.